bum bum. Digger. Too much advice. <laughs> TMA. <laughs> It's said that men are from Mars, women are from Venus, and Kate Poppin wants to help lessen the gap between the two worlds. Everything on love every Friday with our love professor who kills love every Hola. single week, Christian. Hola. Christian? Yeah? Um, we have some homework. Okay. So when we first started TMA, mm -hmm. you and I made nicknames. We did, we did. You gave me a really cute... Mm -hmm. Mexican bon bon. Bon bon <laughs> nickname. But yeah. I gave you an English nickname. You did. And yeah. over the past time mm -hmm. that we've been doing this segment, I've always kind of thought, I want your nickname to be Korean. Oh, okay. To fit the concept a little bit better. Oh, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. I'm, yeah. I'm Bon Bon. I, we need you to, you be, to be something Korean. In Korean. Okay. So, fam, oh -ho. for today, Let's try to figure out <gasps> what we should have Chris's nickname be from now on in Korean. Wow. Because next week is the new season. It is, it is. And you're still on board. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! <laughs> so we're yeah. going to see a new season of TMA. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some changes. Mm -hmm. But I think having a Korean nickname is going to that, be... That sounds cool. Better. Yeah, that sounds cool. I mean, so far it's, it's been Tiger. Which what is cute, but... What about Tigo? <laughs> just kidding. It has to be Korean, so Tigo. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna to call kidding. you Kumbe, no. <laughs> which is a bear. No, no, no. <laughs> Pumbun, okay. Kum, yeah. TMA. <laughs> yeah, like, in the comments, you can just put all the Korean words you know that think it will fit me. And yeah, we will select one of those, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, everybody, just give us some Korean words that you might know, that you might think would be really cute. Yeah, that, that's that's gonna be interesting to see. Yeah. Oh my god, I I cannot wait to see all the all the comments. Right, because yeah. I'm I, I even when we did this originally, I'm really bad at making pet names. Obviously, I gave him Tigger. <laughs> 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 really bad name. How did that came out? Though? Do you remember? Your laugh. My laugh. It's kind it made of me yeah it, oh yeah it made me think of Tigger. That's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I think it would be a lot more appropriate since my name is in Spanish. Right. So we can have mm -hmm. more of a Korean nickname for you, know, you. So it's not just our homework, but it's our listeners' homework. You know what is bonbon marshmallow in Korean? Marshmallow? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> marshmallow. Marshmallow. Ah, we don't okay. have another word for marshmallow. Because marshmallow is not something we do here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We let's, have let's, other let's types wait. of taffy, but not necessarily ah, marshmallows. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh my goodness! Mm. Why are foods coming out, people? No food. Oh, oh cause I'm I'm marshmallow. <laughs> There's someone <laughs> saying Mariana, call him opacito. You know, papacito. Opa. Uh. It's a mix of oh, oh, opacito. opacito. No, <laughs> that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> because I have I have to say my name right every intro. Right. So you you're gonna say boom boom. Opacito. <laughs> no. That's just no, no. Uh, so yeah, if you have any fun Korean names that you think would be cute, yeah, go for it. Yeah. Let's do it. Some, think of something yeah. cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us a lot of options. I keep thinking you're nowhere near. You kind of look like a bear today with your clothes on, but like, yeah, you're nowhere near a a bear. But yeah, I don't know. I'm really bad with nicknames. Yeah. Anyways. What animal do you think I will be? If I was born as an animal. A teddy bear? Do you really think I'm a I teddy bear? I think that's bear? why I keep saying kum to you. Yeah, a lot of bear. people say that I look like a dinosaur. Like, do you know the kung yun uh. They say I look like a di dinosaur. No? No? All right. All right. Then no. Yes, no. Yeah. <laughs> that's Mexican dinosaur. dinosaur. You don't, dinosaurs. dinosaurs don't tend to be that very good looking, but yeah. I'd have to say that a cute teddy bear is a little bit more yeah, good-looking, okay, don't you okay, think? Yeah, okay, okay. Fam, because, you know, he is more good-looking. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so uh, I just decided to close the V Live. I don't know why I did that. So, we continue on with today's show. We have a really interesting segment to go into. Yeah. So, Chris. As always. Our story for today, mm -hmm. Queen V has requested, mm -hmm. you be the girl. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Where is this request coming from? <laughs> I need to know. Why? <laughs> so you're going to be the girl today. Okay. I'm going to be the guy. Okay. I was kind of anticipating your crying today, but I guess I'm going to be doing the crying. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so uh, today's topic is how to get over a breakup. Wow. And Chris, since you're going to be the girl today, mm -hmm. the bottom part of, you know, like the questionnaires, this. Yeah. I want you to I read that to, too. Okay. I have to do all this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to be the guy today. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you have to call me up. Are you ready to do that? I'm so ready to do that. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's do this. Isa, I, I, I hope you are well. It's so hard. I think about you when I walk down the street. When I eat, I can't sleep. You come out in my dreams. Opa, we've been over this. It's over. I know it's hard, but you have to move on. I just have one, one last thing to ask you. Please, let's go on a trip. You know, like a, a breakup, say goodbye type of a trip. I think it'll give me some closure that I need. Excuse me, breakup trip? I, we aren't dating anymore, but you still want to go to on a trip? Just the two of us? Uh, yeah, I mean, let's go back to some of the places we went to when we were dating. Uh, opa, that's only going to make things worse. Find a new hobby or, or find ways to get out of your house. Ask your friends to set you up on a blind date or something. B blind dates? How am I going to find a girl like you? Ay, <sighs> oh, You need a good night's sleep and hangover cure for tomorrow. I'm hanging up right now. How to get over a great pub. <laughs> Invest in yourself versus get back into the dating pool. Tropic Girl said it perfectly. The Oscar goes to Chris. Opa! Opa! Opa, Maria! Don't see Charlie, Opa! Opa! Stop calling me at 3 a.m. in the morning. My God. Have you ever done that? Called an ex at 3 a.m. Yeah. in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we all did. Uh, we, we all did. It's something that you have to go through in life. Uh, it's a did. common thing. You 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 must do it in order to to be ready for for life and for things that are coming. Right, 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 yeah. right. So how to get a better break of investing yourself or mm -hmm. get back into the dating pool, which means take care of yourself, right? Do right. activities that you you like. Take some mm -hmm. do some hobbies or just start like dating people again so you get over it fast. right like both both of options are actually ways to get over it mm. you know but i think it, it really depends on the person it really depends so in today's option i think it's gonna be more about us mm. yeah so what will you do what will how will you get over a breakup will you invest in yourself or do you get back into the dating pool Personally. <laughs> um, oh, dear. I don't know. I kind of do kind of both, but uh -huh. uh, I think it took a while for me to kind of get. Oh, dear. What is dating? Um, okay. Because <laughs> to be <laughs> or not, not to be. To be. See, the reason why. <laughs> why are we in this planet? Okay, so this is why. Oh. This is why I asked this is because mm. like, is just seeing people like mm -hmm. individuals, whether it be one blind date or just a quick drink or you know a quick fling, mm -hmm. is that considered considered dating or is that considered investing in yourself? Uh. Probably the dating pool thing. It is. I, I think so. Because, okay. you know, like, if you're into the dating game, doesn't matter if you didn't say, do you want to be my girlfriend? Do you want to be my boyfriend? Doesn't matter. But if you're on that game, then it means you're on the dating game, on the dating pool. But if you're going to just, for example, like go on a, on a trip by yourself to other con, that's okay. investing in yourself. Yeah. B, getting back into the dating pool. 
Wow. Well, that's what I tend to do. So mm. it's I've I've noticed mm-hmm. that uh, depending on the type of breakup I have, uh-huh. um, I don't necessarily get back out there, mm-hmm. but I find that meeting up with friends that I wasn't meeting up with because mm. of the relationship. Ooh. Uh, open up a lot of doors. Yeah, now, does yeah. this mean that I jump into a new relationship? Mm-hmm. No. No. But does it mean that I don't go on dates? No. <laughs> does it mean I don't flirt? No. no. <laughs> so that's why I was asking you, what is dating? Okay, because you guess, yeah. I play the pool mm-hmm. as in like, I'm, you know, I don't cut myself off from any opportunities and it just so happens that a lot of the times those opportunities kind of come out more. So right. this is what happens. When I'm in a relationship, my priorities tend to be me first, then my significant other, mm-hmm. along with my friends. Now, not okay. all the time, but mm-hmm. most of the time. Mm-hmm. And so uh, if I am no longer with that person, that priority erases. Mm-hmm. So now my priorities can be the people that, let's say... I had a group of friends that were just like, like you, Chris, and somebody else. They're like, you just randomly met at like, I don't know, Nambu mm-hmm. Terminal. Mm-hmm. Like you literally were just transferring and you ran into somebody right, you knew. Right. And then I know that person too. And you're just like, yo, Isak, we're going to go out for drinks. Mm-hmm. Come. Mm-hmm. If I wasn't in a relationship, mm-hmm. I probably would be like, uh, yeah, okay. I'll be mm-hmm. there within like 20, 30 minutes if I don't have anything that particular mm-hmm. day. But most of the time, if I do have a significant other, the priorities might be different. Uh, yeah, it is. It so, is. Yeah. yeah, opportunities do t- tend to come a lot more mm-hmm. when I'm not necessarily looking mm-hmm. for a relationship. And does it mean that I just like put a wall up and say like, no, I just got out of a relationship. I'm not going to date. Mm. That's not me. That's not, so that's not. I'm probably going to be going back into the dating pool. Okay. I, I will invest in myself. And okay. that's actually my personal perspective. Because, okay. You know, when I, I finish a relationship, in my particular case, I, you know, when I'm in a relationship, I tend to do a lot, a lot of stuff for my significant other. Right? So sometimes I don't even take care of myself or my opinion. You know, <sighs> like in order mm. in order to match that person, you lose a lot of yeah, yourself. I lose a lot of myself, okay. my identity, etc. Mm. So w- w- after finishing a relationship, it kind of feels like I can recover that. Okay. Right. So I just you take, can kind of be you again. Exactly. So I, I just take a break and I start to do what I usually used to do without, you know, like not even nunchi mm. or. Um, not asking anyone, just the things that make me happy mm-hmm. by myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, if if that's, for example, going on a trip by myself, that's going to be going on a trip. Okay. If that's, uh, I don't know, buying some some expensive furniture that I really wanted, but my significant other was like, no, you should not buy, never buy that, but I really want it, I can buy it, so I just buy it, for example. Or um, just like... Uh, as you say, it kind of goes to that part on the, I start meeting the, the the friends too, right? That I couldn't meet. Mm. It, it's kind of the same. Kind I of feel it the does. Same category. And I know that a lot of people who are listening are probably like, how could you throw your friends away for right. an, a significant other? But I feel that it just, it, it changes. Mm-hmm. Like, um, even though Chris and I are friends, if Chris has a girlfriend, him and I can't hang out as much as we used to. For mm-hmm. example, mm-hmm. and that's just being respectful for his girlfriend. Right. It's not because there's any relationship mm. here that would cause a sure, problem sure. with his girlfriend, right, but right. it's just more of out of respect mm-hmm. that until she <laughs> accepts that I'm a friend <laughs> right. instead of a you know a threat, a threat. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It happens. But it happens, it's and true. it's, it and true, it's yeah. true though. It's yeah. true, and even for me, like a lot of my guy friends. Either I'm friends with their girlfriends too, mm-hmm. or I don't see them at all. At all. Yeah. And does it mean that our friendship has gone down the drain? No. no. Does it mean that I don't like them anymore? No. Mm-hmm. Does it mean I disapprove of their girlfriends? No. Mm-hmm. It's just that their girlfriends might see me as a threat, mm-hmm. or they their lifestyle. Like, let's mm-hmm. say you get done work with late, and you and your girlfriend like to go watch movies at like 12 p.m. or mm-hmm. 12 like a.m. I sleep early. Yeah. And I want to go hang out with you guys, but I can't wake up the next morning <laughs> if I go see a movie at 12 a.m. True, true. So it just, you naturally kind of 
find different situations to be friends. You know what happens sometimes? Like you invest so much time and energy and concentration on the relationship you are that once you get out of it, it's kind of hard to go back to your old routine right. of meeting friends, etc. So right. you actually you still need a lot of like solo alone time, right? In order to like find again yourself and start meeting your friends little by little because they they still their life still go, going on right and probably the dynamics change maybe not the same three friends you used to meet they, right they, and now be four or five yeah, now it could be four or five it could be one they could right. thought they're not friends anymore mm -hmm. so you, you it could the dynamics uh, change it so it's like a new fresh start so yeah slowly get slowly. it slowly always get it slowly doesn't matter if you go invest in yourself or go going back to the dating pool true yeah. alright now Mimi's saying Isaac don't you think this is quite cultural um it could be but mm. I feel that even in the states like my friends I've always noticed that if you are a couple everybody kind of has to be a couple mm, okay For the group to work. Ah, uh, yeah. So, like, Chris, if you, if I was in your group of friends, uh -huh. and let's say there's five of us, uh -huh. you're the only couple in our group, uh -huh. but your girlfriend was the X factor. She's the one that came into the group. Mm -hmm. We can't hang out. Ah, uh, okay. Because the first few nights, it's going to work. Maybe about a month, maximum about six months into the relationship, it might work. Mm -hmm. Then they're going to start getting into fights. Mm. Okay, yeah, it might happen though. Yeah, and it's not because I'm in the picture. It's because like, why do you guys always talk about certain things when I'm there? Like, you know, because it's just like they, it's your yeah. group and she's in there. Yes. So there's always going to be that. If it's the group of friends and then you just ended up becoming significant others, that's even a problem too. <sighs> But I mean, all being couples makes a lot of trouble too. Oh well, yeah, because like, the girls fight a lot. Start comparing comparisons. You know, yeah, like that oh. happens too. Her boyfriend did this for for her, and you did nothing. <laughs> What's happening? Like he opened the door yeah. for her, and you not being a gentleman with In me. What's going birthday, on? In her birthday, he gave him, he gave she, she, he gave her something, and you didn't give me anything. So I was just wondering if I can get something. Yeah, yeah, it could happen, right? Like there are a lot of comparisons. That's it. And it has all pros and cons. Right, it does. Okay, so in this particular s situation where they've broken up and the guy needs to move on, obviously the girl has, but yeah. the guy hasn't. So what do you advise to get over a breakup? Is to invest in yourself mm -hmm. or just to kind of get back into the dating pool? I'm going for the dating pool. Chris mm -hmm. is going for invest in yourself just yeah. a little bit so you can kind of find yourself mm -hmm. as well. Right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Queen V picked the perfect title for <laughs> the song for today. We've got NTX the track Black Hole, and we'll see you guys back after this with more of our show. It is the second hour of K-pop, and I'm your host, Isaac. We've got Christian in the studio. Yes. Oh, frozen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So today we are looking at how to get over a breakup, either invest in yourself or get back into the dating pool. Chris says to invest in yourself first. I say go back into the dating pool. Not for me, though. It's not just because like I'm like, I'm going to go date. The, you know, the world is mm. mine. It's not so much of that. It's just that, <laughs> you know, as you kind of make up for lost time with the people that you meet, then you tend to find. Right people you are interested mm -hmm. in and then those end up being like you know oh so i have this friend or like yeah i'm gonna come out tonight i'm gonna be bringing somebody that's okay right it's like yeah okay and then you know like things happen so um yeah uh, i'm i'm getting back into the dating pool chris is to invest in yourself the person who loses <laughs> gets the penalty and for the past couple of weeks i've been losing Six weeks in a row. <laughs> to be specific. I I don't know. I know you didn't ask. I just reminded you. <laughs> Please, universe. <laughs> Curse Chris uh, <laughs> for being too happy that I've been getting six uh, penalties. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis weeks in a row. Uh. I mean, that, that's what happens when it happens. What are you gonna do about it? I mean, I, I got my penalties too, like really. Big Excuse ones. me, sir. You haven't done any in six weeks. Yeah, I I am starting to not remember what it feels like. Oh my God. <laughs> Please, universe. Mama. I'm starting to forget the feeling of Mama, the punishment. You're watching. <laughs> Send La Tancla our way, please. <laughs> La Tancla. 
<risa> la chancla all the way. From México. Please. Uh, Por favor. Please. La chancla. <risa> okay. So, uh, as you continue to vote and our segment continues on, we mm -hmm. have our drama part of things. We're going to be looking mm -hmm. at Suti and Kimu Beans starring in wow. Hamburu Etit Hage. Uncontrollably <laughs> fond. Okay. Do you watch the whole drama? Yeah, so this drama was pretty cool because Kimu Bin, <laughs> it was kind of like um full house type of an mm, ordeal. Sitcom kind of thing. It, it was kind of funny, kind of lighthearted, but like Kimu Bin is like a big star. Mm. Is, is a producer. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, the they knew each other from when they were really young. Uh, and then they like grow apart as they get older. And then they meet again as producer and as mm. top star. Okay. And this particular scene is intense. Okay, so this is the scene that's happening. Suti, her character, she's a producer, and she needs to get an interview. And so she's on location, behind the camera, trying to get an interview mm -hmm. with Kimovin. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. And Kimovin is about to confess. Oh. So you know that there's like the love story. It's like building uh, right, up. It's right. one of the climaxes oh, to the okay, drama. okay, okay. And then this scene happens. Oh. Okay. 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 Is everybody ready? Okay, I'm ready. I'm very curious as to what we're going to be learning today, yeah. phrase wise. Pidinim, is he going to stay girl or am I going to. Oh, okay, Chris, you're going to be girl all the girl today. Girl all the, uh, again? <laughs> I'm going to be girl again. I'm going to be Kimu Bean. <laughs> okay. I'm Susie. <laughs> you're oh Susie. I'm going to be Kimu <laughs> I'm pretty. Okay. You're pretty. I'm pretty. Channel pretty. Channel pretty. <laughs> Channel pretty. White skin. Pale complexion. <laughs> okay. I need to bulk up my shoulders to be Kimu Okay. okay. So, uh, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's do this to this. Mega Musun Maru Haru Hanunchi Mamu Pali. Bucket list is in the Kepasaya. Did you think of bucket list items? 지금 이 질문을 한 사람에게 고백을 듣는 것. Hearing a confession from the person who just asked that question. 음, 다시 질문할게요. Bucket list는 I'll ask my question again. Your bucket list is 지금 내 눈앞에 있는 여자에게 사랑한다는 말을 듣는 것. Hearing I love you from the girl in front of me. <laughs> Stop playing. I'm not. I'm being honest. That was Kimu Bin, by the way, <laughs> singing in the background. The male lead of the drama uh, saying this. Can we find a scene where two girls are fighting? <laughs> 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 that would be really interesting. And also, I got a scene two guys fighting. Um, we, we can do the scene like the Oksang Tarawa. Yeah. Uh, we, we can do that as a punishment for next season. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, let's do we, that, yeah. We can do that as a punishment for next uh, season. Right, right. Take, right. like, a girl-girl scene or a guy-guy scene and, like, rack it out yeah. in Korean and in yeah, English. Yeah, that, that'll be good, that'll be good. Yeah. That would okay, be. so a lot of expressions to learn today. And um, uh, which one do you think we're going to learn? I'm, I'm just, like, throwing you the question out. Um, There's like bucket list related questions. Right. There's like Changnan mm. Kumanara whatever. Mm. Take a guess. Five, four, three. Chinsimia. You're right. You're right. Like we want to learn the last one, which is Chinsimia. Yeah. Really? Yeah, Chinsimia. And it's because it's the most usable one among the others. <laughs> because, first of all, bucket list. Uh, I don't think there's a, there's a word for it in Spanish. If there is, I'm so sorry. I never used it when I was in Mexico. But uh, probably they call it bucket list or a list of things to do before you die or something. Like right. That, right. And 장난 아닌데, it could be translated in so many ways, which is kind of complicated. So, Chinsimia. Mm. 
Chin Shimia, it's the perfect word to say. Right. When you are in a particular situation that you will try to emphasize that you are being serious. Right, 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 right. Right? So we have the first way to say it. Okay. Which is en serio. Okay. En okay. serio. En serio. Serio means serious. Oh. So it kind of translates to I'm serious. Right. Well, yeah, because right? I'm being honest or I'm being serious. Yeah. Exactly. Sinshim could be serious too. Right. So that's the most uh, natural way to say it. So, en serio, so if you just say en serio, you're talking about any particular situation. You can okay. add es, which is the verb to be. Mm -hmm. Es en serio. Okay. And it could be there, it could not be there, but it just make it more like, you know, like the emphasis goes be. This is serious. Yeah. This is serious. Es en serio. Es en serio. Oh, serio. Right? En serio. Mm. If you say en serio, it's like, okay, he's serious. You say, es, es en serio. serio. Right? It's like, if no one is believing you, it's like saying twice. Mm. Right? When you're like, mun lloro. Mun lloro hago. Mm. Like, two, twice. Right? Mm -hmm. And there's a, another thing you can say when you want to say, you want to state chin shimia, which okay. is, te lo juro. Te lo juro. Okay. Te lo juro means literally, I swear. Oh. I swear. Juro comes from the verb jurar, which means to swear. Mm -hmm. And I swear. Telo, I swear to you. Mm. Ah. I swear to you that I'm. It's real. Okay. So you can actually make a mix of make a mix of, of these two. For example, es en serio. Te lo juro, en serio, right? Like mm. you can just keep like moving these words uh, back and forward, and you can state more clearly that you're being serious, that something happened. En serio, right? Mm. No one so believes like, you. So, like, um, there's a fire outside. Right. And you're telling mommy, mom, yeah. there's a fire outside. Yeah, but but I uh, accidentally, I did a prank the day before. Right, and so nobody believes nobody you. Nobody believes me, right? And so you say, en serio, es en serio. Te lo juro, afuera, fuego, fuego, en serio, te lo juro, rápido. Yeah. Yeah. Hurry, I, hurry, yeah, hurry. I will be emphasizing all the time. So, te lo juro, mm -hmm. this expression has a particular gesture we do in Mexico. I don't know other countries, but in Mexico, you know, it's a really Catholic country. Sometimes, <clears throat> yeah, that, this is not te lo juro. Okay. Te lo juro, you, you kiss like this, which this, this is the cross. Ah. The, yeah. So, it basically means... Oh, I've seen this a lot. Yeah, yeah. So, kiss, lo juro. Right? Mm -hmm. Te lo juro. I swear. Yeah. Uh, not everybody does it. Uh, especially, I, I don't think the young, young generation does it. Before, they used to do this a lot. Mm. And, um, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, if you want to say lo juro in a more sweet way. Okay. Because I'm not going to be talking to them. Oh, it's fire. It's like, Te lo juro. Yeah, it kind of doesn't match. So, it's, it's kind of a more sweet way to it's say. It's a softer, like, sweet yes. way to. I swear. Don't. Yeah. Trust yeah. me. Yeah, Luisa Fernanda Marini is saying, in Colombia también. They do that this in Colombia as well. Mm. So, yeah, probably, you know, like Latin America, Spanish-speaking countries, that mm -hmm. are, uh, most of them are Catholic-based. Okay. They probably had that kind of movement. Mm. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Te lo juro. En serio. En serio. Mm -hmm. A lot more easier to remember. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, so even for me, the last <clears throat> phrase when I was trying to translate it in English was, I'm not, because because, mm -hmm. you know, it's, I'm not playing, right. is literally how it would be translated. Yeah. Um, I'm being honest. Chinshim is to be sincere or to be extremely honest with somebody. So, yeah. um, Chinshir and chinshim is a little different. Right. But in English, it's the same. It's the same. In Spanish, is the same. Right. Right. So, chinshim is when you're sincerely mm -hmm. being honest to mm -hmm. somebody. Chinshir is just like if in a court of law, if this is true. Like yeah. Fact. Yeah. Uh, I, at the... I love how Korean has this deep root. Right. For every word. Right. Wow. And it's so hard for us as foreign speakers because there's no way to translate it exactly. in our language. I, I remember I was uh, I was saying kyonghom and kyongnyo. Uh huh. Both of those translate as experience. Exactly, but it's very different. But it's different. Kyonghom is the experience you have, like I don't know, uh, in the in, field <clears throat> itself, like yeah, 
first-hand experience. In your life. Like, right. I got the experience of being in a roller coaster for right, the first right, time. Right, 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 right. But 경력 is the experience you have in a field. Right. For example, like... In, in, your spec. Yeah, I worked in a mining site for a year. Right, so that's, that's my, a my spec. That's my 경력. Uh-huh. But I had the experience of being on a mine site. That's my kyung home. Yeah. And you, it's, it's, I, I love Korean. That's, that's, it's, the roots are so deep. Right. For and that you can be able to differentiate it quite differently. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Always love these. Yeah, these segments are interesting. All right, so we yeah, have to oh, go yeah. back in. <laughs> Teacher mode. <laughs> don't go, don't be sidetracked today. Okay. So, uh, mm. we need to learn this in, uh, English, Korean, and in Espanol. So mm-hmm. let's start off with Hangul today. Hangul, Hangul. 요 진심이야. Okay. In English, it is? I'm being honest. In Espanol? Es en serio. Te lo juro. <laughs> <laughs> at the end. Right, exactly. <laughs> Don't forget the kiss at the end. Can you tell I'm oh, stalling? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Carmel. You need... To sing. No, Carmel. You it's okay. Sing. If you if you can't take it today, I don't have to sing. <laughs> no, she's fine. You're fine, right? You're fine. I don't, I I don't have to sing. I don't, I don't have to. Stop stalling. I know you're stalling. I am. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get right into it. What are you going to sing for us? Oh, no, it's not yet. We have to listen to a song uh, and then come back. No, now. <laughs> what <about> now? <laughs> so we're going to take a quick song break, come back. We've got my penalty coming up. And more. So stay tuned. Continue to send in your votes. If I lose, I have to do it again. So vote for me. <laughs> vote for me, people. Vote for me, please. Let's see what happens. Por favor. On the next segment of Te amo. All right. So Suji Sing and Read My Bell and more of DMA is coming up after this. All right, it's still the second hour of K-pop, and on a Friday, that means it's TMA Day with La Professor Christian. Don't forget to vote for me. Don't forget to vote for her. <laughs> okay, before your punishment, I have a big announcement to do. What? Today is Araceli's birthday. Big applause for Araceli. Araceli, happy birthday. Feliz cumpleaños, Araceli. That's Karina's sister. Happy birthday. Feliz cumpleaños. Happy birthday. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have a penalty. Yes. The song's actually pretty long. Yeah. The first, I want to do the first verse, but the first verse is two minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> wow. Okay, so last okay. week, mm-hmm. um, we had a penalty that Chris wanted me to do Udodong. Yeah. To be very honest, we completely forgot. <laughs> Queen V played Udodong in the first hour. Yeah. So it was in the back of her mind. Yeah. But she, she just put it on the playlist. Yeah, she was kind of remembering. Yeah. yeah. And so I thought that it would be really funny if I did, because I have to sing a cute on a cute song, like a cute way of singing the song on top of the actual song itself. So I was like, what song could be super mm. serious? <laughs> But I could sound super annoying at the same time. Right. So, so I chose Im Je Bom's Koe. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> it's going to kind of sound a little off tone today. I right. think it's going to be like an Um Chi type of an off tone like. That's the punishment. That's the punishment. I think it's going to be more of a punishment for our listeners. So I'm, I'm sorry ahead of time. Okay. I'll okay. just do it. I'll let, just do it let, now. Let me just grab these two so they, they are safe. <laughs> <laughs> they will okay, music with me. cue. Okay, let's get it. I'll 
Popcorn in the middle of you. He was like, "Oh my God, no, my hair stopped." Yeah. <laughs> my hair. It was intense for him. <laughs> okay, fam. I told you it's more of a penalty for y'all than for me. All right. So, can yeah. we, shall we do the countdown yes. if I know what's gonna happen? Okay. Ten, nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, five, five four, three, two, one. Zero. Yeah. Okay. And the winner is. 95.9% uh-huh. of our listeners chose Chris. Yeah! Seven weeks in a row! Seven! Uno, dos, y tres, y cuatro. <laughs> you don't even care anymore. You're like. <laughs> okay. All the acting by yourself. Oh, you, th- you had this one. You yeah, had I already this had one. this yeah. one. Yeah, you had this one. Take Pim, I already have this one. Do I do it again or do it again? I have to act by myself or do it again? Do Pull it again. again. Just do, do this? It. Okay, she said just do yeah, this. Yeah, okay. okay. Big round of applause for his saxophone. But, <laughs> yeah. but no, tomorrow we have a new season. Next week we have a new season. So yeah. I don't know if this is actually going to oh, I just take another one to just it. in case then. No, she says go with this one. <laughs> I'm going to go with what P- Queen B says. <laughs> okay. <She's laughs> All right. Stupid. We're way over time, fam. So we get a new season next week. Chris is still going to be on board. Find out what's going to be changing next week. I'm going to be back tomorrow, so don't forget to stay tuned. Taking us out of the studio today is Surprise with From My Heart. And we'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye.